Hello, hello, my wonderful and beautiful friends. Oh, man, Rubber Ducky, your super chat went away. Rubber Ducky sent me a $5 super chat. If you're if you're in the chat right now, if you'll just uh, tag me so I know what it said. Let me see if I can go back up. Oh, uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Um, as uh, the constitutional law scholar would say, nope, I cannot find it. So if you will please tag me in the... Uh, in the uh, chat right now, so I know what your message was. My bad. Thanks for the five dollars. I love you guys, man. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm. Uh, we're gonna play a game tonight. We're gonna play. We're gonna play a little game uh, for Captain Dipshit tonight. Where in the world is Skeptic San Diego? And uh, I guess we'll start with our uh, our first hint for you, Jackass. Is not San Diego. That's where I'm not at. I'm traveling the world still, avoiding Interpol or some shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he, uh, he unfortunately, things did not go his way. Unfortunately, like always. I mean, I don't think he's surprised very much because when was the last time anything in court has gone jackass's way? Zero times. Remember Captain O for X plus one? Yeah, still, th th that name still stands. I, my prediction is that name will stand until the end of the year. 100%. 100%. You will not win one single thing before the end of the year. And then next year, we'll start over with Captain O for X plus one again. We have a new member. Ted Dizzle, my man. Brother, I love you, man. I got so much to tell you, man. I got so much to tell you. But yes, I'm still um, I'm still traveling the world. So TTU, baby, TTU. Of course, he said this is a gang sign. Yeah, you know what this stands for? The University of Texas, the Longhorns. It's where I went to school. TTU, throw them horns up. Ah, fuck that guy. Oh man, I love you guys, man. We're gonna um, we're gonna go over a couple of videos tonight, and we're gonna kind of touch on a few things. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Your boy, Team Skeptic. The world traveler that Chile is, he's getting a passport. I'm sure he's get, not getting a passport to come serve me, obviously, but uh, he's probably getting a passport thinking he's going to go and, and serve Irish Demon or serve me because he thinks I'm still overseas, which I probably am. I, I last talked to somebody. Where was the last time I talked to you guys from? Uh, everybody in the chat should know this. We actually were lucky enough to have Kate show up while we were there, but London. I was in London a few days ago. I might still be there, Chile. Why don't you bring your happy ass out here? You know, ask your uh, ask your your uh, fans for some money or whatever. Yes, Casey Cooper said it. London, Spain was the other day. Unlocked London. That's right. I was there, hanging out with a bunch of fucking English people. Let's see, Daja Dalek Beck. Love you, young team skeptic. Love being a member. I'm glad you're a member too. And uh, yeah, man, fucking, I've been having a blast. Why would I? Why would I cut my vacation short? Just out of curiosity, who out in the chat can tell me why I would cut my vacation short so that Chili could get a, a W? It'd be a lowercase W, but a W. Why? Is that on me? Just out of curiosity, is that on me? Am I the, am, am I the one who's responsible for, for giving this guy a W, or should we make him earn it? Ah, uh, so anyway, here is a... Uh, Oh, one second, one second. Let me go grab something real quick. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So while I was in London, uh-oh, got to grab one more thing too. Uh, let's see. Remember for eight months, Denise Pete, I've been burning sage for you, Kate, and even Josh. I think the world of you. I'm proud to be a member. Everybody... Uh, everybody here fucking rocks. Yes, we all fucking do and that includes you guys as well Especially my man blue bear down there We're not gonna have a very long show tonight because we do want to kick it over to Kate and uh, blue bear are Both gonna be streaming tonight and you pick your poison whichever one you want to watch But we'll I'll, I'll give make sure that you guys have Kate's uh, link and I'm sure blue bear will be out, out there will be able to serve you your link Okay, anyway while I was in London there was a place called world of whiskeys and I was like Ah, oh, man, you know, a little shot of whiskey might help me sleep a little bit on the plane. So I got a small bottle of this red label, this Johnny Walker red label. And then they sealed it up and they were like, can't open it until your, your final destination. And I was like, what the fuck? I just bought this to drink it real quick. And he was like, no, you can't do that here. And I was like, you son of a bitch. 
And then they gave me like the third degree in, in London. They were like, how long have you been here? How long will you be here? How did you get here? How long was your plane ride? Was it nice? Did they serve peanuts or chips? What airline was it? <laughs> they literally asked me all this. I was like, why are you not asking everybody else these questions? Why are you just asking me? What's sus about me? Oh, uh, delete laws and tell you there's a lot of shit sus about me. But you know what? Fuck that guy. All right. We also have a new member, Nurse Coy. Woo. Eight months. Oh, I read this one. Let's see. Daniel Van Houten, new member. Ooh, yes. All right, good deal. Give me one second. Let me go get a little uh, shot glass that has uh, lead in it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming. I'm hurrying. I'm coming. All right, I'm back. All right, so we're going to take one little shot of uh, Johnny Walker Red for the man up above Schrodinger's cat who's watching us as we make our travels now through the United States and Canada and probably in somewhere. I uh, might, might have to go see Brainy Beaver and uh, avoid being served up there by Brainy Beaver. Uh, they'll, send the, they'll send the Mounties after me, won't they, Chili? Won't they? I'm sure you think you have control over the Mounties, but you don't, obviously. All right, so we're going to take one shot for him, and then we're going to get right to the show. Um... I am under advisement because, you know, I listen. I listen to the people who are smarter than I am, especially the legal scholars who are way, way smarter than I will ever be in the courtroom. And they said, it is in my best interest to keep my mouth shut for the time being. There will be a time when I can speak about this more freely, but I can react to what Chili is about to do because what he says and does is really stupid, and that happens daily. If he goes live, we will obviously go live to his his show uh thank you uh tenkai for the one gifted membership thank you very much but um what we are gonna do is we are gonna uh give me one second all right All right, all right, now we are back. Okay, so this shot, this little shot of Johnny Walker Red is for the man above, Schrodinger's cat. Thank you for watching out for me throughout my travels in Europe. Ah, he's a saint. It's uh, uh, Saint Schrodinger. That's what we're going to call him, Saint Schrodinger. Fraud or troll, 10 Canadian dollars, TTU, baby, keep up the good work. We're going to get some good work done tonight, and we're going to get it done in a rapid, rapid fashion. Uh, we have the very large chipmunk probably going to be played in 1.5 speed. And you know how chilly sounds in 1.5 speed. Pretty like, like Whitney Houston almost a little bit. But here's a shot from my man Schrodinger. Love you, brother. Thank you for watching out for me. Mm. What do we say, guys? What do we say? That's some good <laughs> whiskey. Woo! All right. So we got one video first. Let's see. This video was called Here We Go. Um, Paul Fraser for five or four forty nine. Come to Scotland was putting a group on uh, Glengorry Dis Distillery near Glasgow, and I, and I'm an artist and a guide. Love you, team. I will be coming back, and I will be going to uh, uh, places I didn't visit the first time. Um, all right, then we have Tread Hard Treadhead, nineteen forty five, Texas Tech University, TTU, baby. Ah, love you guys. All right, here we go. Proceeding forward, how is everybody today? My glasses are a little bit messy. Hold on one second. Just, I usually have glasses. Just real quick, get these glasses cleaned real fast. How is everybody today? One second. Karen Walker, love you, Daddy. Here. TTU forever, baby. TTU, still, baby. Still right there. Jerry Brother, Pothier, 99 cents. Thank you very much. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get him up, turn him up on... Uh, Chipmunk speed. I gotta get this on my glasses. One second, guys. Give me one second. How's everybody doing today? One second, pretty please. I'll be right back. One second. Oh, I'm sure your fans well, are fucking full isn't quite of the lead tissue paint, I was hoping it would be. just like they are I every day. typically would have something in this vehicle to wipe this off with, but I currently don't, so I'm gonna have to use... That sucks. One second, guys. One second. As I said, I was gonna finish. If I warned you that I was coming after you, then that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> um, as always... I welcome the challenge, Chili. I welcome it. I'm not scared of you. It's a it's a game. This we're, we you, my friend, you, my friend, are playing goldfish. I'm playing four dimensional checkers. So I'm 
in another league above and beyond you. And that is the absolute truth. All right. We're not. You, you can come after me and continue to come after me. OK, I'm going to always win. You're going to find that out the really fucking hard way because you don't you're dumb enough to do the stuff that you're dumb enough to do and that you're dumb enough to did. Yeah, he did something stupid in court. One second, Are one you second, surprised? One second, Put one, a one in the chat. On, Look, hey, hold on. I'm going to pause this for a second. Put a one in the chat if you're not surprised that Chili did something really, really fucking dumb in court that he can't fucking take back. Oh, Chili, you're dumb. You're the dumbest person I know, and it's going to bite you in the ass. Please don't stop. That's the, please don't stop. Please, you are free money. You're our trackable great white shark. You can tell the judge I said it again. You are a trackable great white shark because you tell everybody where you're at. Um, you drive while you stream while telling everybody where you're at. You're like, hey, look at this building. I'm right here in L.A. Ha! And then you're and then you drive 10 minutes down the road and everybody can predict where you're making right turns and left turns and they know exactly where you stop. You broadcast this in a public forum. You're a moron. You're a great white shark that loves to be tracked, and I'm tracking the shit out of you. Oh, God. You cannot take back what you said. That's the beautiful thing. You cannot take back what you said. Just remember that. Fucking gas is the price of gold, you know? So, we shall proceed. So, we shall proceed. So, we shall proceed. One second, guys. Let me just get the pull up right here. And so, today, what I'm doing... Um, I'm getting, I'm going down and filing for, let me get rid of this slide. Yo, here we go. Now I can see you guys. What's up with the Playboys? What's going on, Playboy? Hit OTVO, overturn Terry versus Ohio. Pretty please, overturn Terry versus Ohio. And who has set up their city council meeting? Who has set up to go to their city council meeting? Who has done that? Who's followed through on that and said, I, I, I set a city council meeting? I mean, I'm showing you. I was threatening this earlier. I might just follow through with it and go to my city council meeting as Bucky Skeptic and uh, go ahead and make a case for getting rid of the torture cuffs. I might just do that, Chili. And may, that way you can say, oh, Skeptic's on our side again. And I can say, yeah, about that, you know. I do want to open a gift, though, that was sent to me. Um, it got to me wherever I'm at, you know. This is a, a gift from, uh, uh, let's see, uh, I believe, uh, is she out there? Let me make sure she's here. Before I start giving her a shout out and say, oh, you're not here. Okay. I don't think she's actually here. Oh, man. Okay. Um, oh, and Tina Slay, you're here. Good to see you, Tina. Um, I'm going to be doing something nice for Tina. It was somebody else's suggestion. Uh, but somebody suggested that Tina, uh, oh, there she is right there. Michelle Thiel. We'll get to you in a second, Tina. Michelle Thiel bought me this gift that, and sent me, sent this to me and I wanted to open it on stream for you guys. Uh, and then I also wanted to, I know what it is. I just haven't seen it yet and I wanted to put it to good use tonight. So, wow, that's really cool. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like. It's like a map of the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, look, Pittsburgh in the house, baby. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. That's really cool. Thank you, Michelle. Good. Th you know what? We're going to take a small little sip of uh, Johnny Walker Red, and then we'll get back to the video. This shot's for you, Michelle, and for Tina. Tina Slay had a hard day yesterday. We did something nice for her. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of the community. Um, if it was anything specific that I asked the community's help with, just you guys have been super generous to me over the past, you know, really six months. Uh, y'all been super generous to me and I wanted to take some of that generosity and give it back to somebody else. I haven't done it yet, Tina. I'm doing it. Don't worry. I just, uh, I've got to access my PayPal, but hey, um, we're going to do something nice for Tina and you guys are going to be the reason that it's even possible to be done. So everybody give Tina a big shout out and, and a virtual hug because yesterday was one of those days that was just, uh, I'm sure was hard for her. So, uh, you're in my heart, Tina. Uh, and we were, we're going to keep the show going though. This shot is for both you and, uh, Michelle. So. Hmm. Whew. That's some good whiskey. Let's get back to the show. Here we go. You guys right now, with your help, as a matter of fact, 
I'm showing you guys that I am following through. I'm, I'm following through with the legal action I promised you I was taking. <laughs> and this is a precursor for another lawsuit. And I'm just not, I'm just not joking. I'm just not joking. I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want. That doesn't mean that you won't be sued. Hold on, let me fix my phone and make sure. You know, I honestly don't care if you continue to sue me. I'm counting on it, Chili. Just remember that. It's all part of the game. Remember, I'm playing chess. You're playing goldfish. You don't even know how to play the game. Uh, Paladin's in the room. What's up, Paladin? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I do, so happy I got to Hey, Paladin, well, you know, I, I will be in. I don't myself, but I do because I have a proxy who does it for me, who's actually versed in what you're not. You'll learn, Chili. One day you'll you'll pick you'll decide to go ahead and get yourself one of those uh, proxies. And um, your neck of the woods. In the next month or so, I will be lawyer McLawlin. Lawyer McLawlin. Good to see you, buddy. Redneck Mississippi, Los Angeles, Spike. Good to see you. Good to see you, Kurt. How's everybody doing? Top shelf anarchy. Oh, top shelf anarchy. You know, um, I I responded to one of your comments yesterday. You know, wait, so let me explain something to you, uh, Mr. Top Shelf Anarchy. Uh, first of all, thanks for being here, man. I Thank you. Um, there's, there's, there is such thing as hate speech, which is protected. You can call me any racial slur you want. You can say anything you want about my race or my gender or my, my, uh, sexual orientation. Now, if you, now, anyway, you can say hate speech all you want. You can say free speech all you want. You can say, I love America. I love America. You can say, I hate America. You can burn the symbol of America's freedom, which is our flag or supposed to be our flag. Now, um, what you can't do though, is you cannot use speech. See my hands start to shake. I get upset. You cannot use speech that harms another person that is not true. That's not protected speech and that is not free speech. I know. I'm muted. I'm muted. That's, that's, that's amazing. Amazing. Oh, chat. Put a one in the chat if you feel my pain. Because it was just a button right here that I fucking pushed that I meant to not push. Because I don't know that you can't hear me because I can hear myself. Oh, man. I love you, chat. You know how to give it to me. Giving it to me raw, too. All right. Chili, what I basically said in a nutshell was, if you can't take criticism, get the fuck off the internet. You really don't. This is the, a public forum, okay? That's that's kind of what I was getting to, right? Chili, you post your videos. This video right here was, public, uh, was published in a public forum. There was no paywall to get to it. There was no, um, it, it was not done like on your your pay, your pay your own website, for deletelaws.com or whatever the fuck. It wasn't done on there. It was done on YouTube in a public forum. What you're trying to stop ultimately will fuck you over. Think about it. If you, let's say you set precedence. You say, oh, I've just made it to where no YouTuber can ever criticize another YouTuber. Well, guess what? If there is a police officer who's a YouTuber, you know, or, or has a YouTube account and you criticize him, you're, you, you can't make that criticism. You can't say those mean things. You can say, oh, he's a, but he's a peace officer. He's a law enforcement. I get, I get special things. I can do it the way I want. That's not how it works. See, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to laugh at you because everything you said that I did was completely protected by the First Amendment. A, a law scholar of two decades plus would probably know that. A real one, not you. A real one. One that went to school. He would look at your, 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 you know, your claims and go, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? How, how does this guy say I am a first amendment auditor? And then wants to shut down mine, Kate's, Josh's first amendment rights. Clear first amendment rights. Clear. He says, oh, but you know, they keep saying this GHB thing. Well, so did the judge in Kate's trial on the record. Brought it up. You certainly aren't, you know, trying to sue her for defamation, are you? You Do you really want to try to sue the judge for defamation because she brought up your fucking GHB case? 
and you that you claim never happened, never happened. So which one is it? Did it happen, but you got a diversion? Well, then it happened. Then people can talk about it. You can't shut us down from saying that. You've said many times that this isn't about winning. This is about money and taking it from everybody. Well, <laughs> when your people are saying this is my last $5 and I'm giving it to you to get a criminal out of jail, I think that you're playing the wrong ball game with people like myself and Kate. I, and, I, and I'm not trying to be braggadocious about it. I'm just telling you. I'm just giving you the heads up. You're, you're not. Again, you're playing goldfish with people who claim to be experts in goldfish as well. We're playing four-dimensional chess with, with actual scholars that have PhDs that went to college. And all they want is somebody like me and Kate to stand up for them because they don't have a fucking voice like we do. So they love when we shut down bullies like you. You bullied that fucking janitor in fucking Ironton. You bullied every fucking person that I've ever fucking ever met that said they know you. You bullied fucking Deborah live. As she's talking, you're like, oh, I don't give a fuck what this girl's saying. Hey, we don't stop. We don't stop. Because somebody fucking put it in your goddamn chat. Thankfully for you, your fucking followers and, and their, their limited IQ. Deborah, she's going to fucking be like, oh, well, Chili had to say we don't stop. It was really important. My story didn't have to matter because I'm a fucking mod on his channel with fucking 50,000 other people that all want to say the same thing. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. It's the dumbest shit in the world. Oh, that's my mission. No, your mission is to try to sue people like me. And that's where you're fucking falling off. That's why we're winning. You hate that you can't keep on with your mission because you have to deal with someone like me. Well, guess what? Don't be on the internet. How about that? Just stop putting shit out on the internet. It'd be real simple. I can't talk about you if you stop putting shit out, right? that you may go on troll channels and I've actually seen you on their top shelf anarchy uh, people sent me screenshots and I appreciate you sticking them with you, you, you kept sticking them with one comment I saw it um, but um, harmful speech that is slanderous is not protected speech you it doesn't even file under free speech because you can be sued for it and so right now I'm taking a step toward another lawsuit against someone else that they're not going to show up today which is absolutely awesome and then I'll yeah. get what I requested here legally. I'll put, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the opposition will post all the documents, but I'm going to wait just a minute more before I post what I'm doing specifically. I let him know exactly what I'm doing. So um, I'm going to go down here and file my paperwork and then see if I can get what I get. And then I'll take another legal action. And after that next legal action is taken, I'll tell you guys exactly what it is. But I'm, I'm never going to stop. It, it, if you affected me in a negative way, if you created a rumor about me that is not true, and it's patently false, and it came from you, I will sue you. I would love to know what rumor you're talking about. Because I don't put out any rumors. All I do is react to your content. I do call you a dipshit, because you are a dipshit in my opinion. I do call you a dumb buck. That's happened, yes. I'm going to go ahead and agree to fucking calling you a dumb buck. Because, you know, from my fucking professional perspective, and I cover a lot of dumb fucks in my life on, on YouTube, you are a dumb fuck. You're a narcissistic beta cuck bitch. That's all you are. That's all you'll ever be. You're not the cool guy that you're going to proclaim to be in here. You're not the guy that everybody likes. You're the guy that everybody likes to make fun of. That is the truth. That it may be the hardest truth that you ever have to understand and, and learn in your life, but it is the truth. You're dumb. You are, not, you are not the person you think you are. You will never be the person you think you are. And the hardest lesson for you that, to learn is that we all know it. We all see it. And the 50 mods that you have that block anybody that doesn't already have a wrench, okay? Those 50 people, those are the 50 people that follow you. And that's it. And, and they'll always follow you. They'll always think that you're the God of gods. That you're the, the best thing since, uh, t since sliced bread, okay? That's what they'll always think about you. But all we're ever going to think about you is, is that you're just a fucking rotten piece of bread that keeps continuing to get, to get older and older and more and more fucking moldy. So, um, yeah. Eat shit. No bones about it. So, unless you have Kate's That's fundraising right. no skills and you can raise 50 it. grand. And by the way, Kate, it's going <clears> to <throat> cost about $150,000. I'm going to put it to you like this. I don't think I have the fundraising skills that Kate has because she didn't actually ask for money. You know, I mean, she, she asked for money, but she didn't ask for that amount of money. You guys, you guys, y'all just came together 
and, and said, you know what? We support Kate this amount and this much. He fucking hates that. And I, I'm not asking for any money right now. I, I'll tell you right now. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest about this. It's cost me a little bit. Okay. It's cost me seven fifty already once. It's probably gonna cost me seven fifty again, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll talk about prices and all that and whenever it gets to that point. But right now, it's not at that point. Um, I love you guys. I know that when the time is right, you guys are going to really come together and, and put something together. But and in the in, uh, to, in all, you know, transparency and everything right now, I have my my PayPal in the uh, description. If you feel like you want to throw a couple of dollars in, it's all going to go towards legal fees anyway, at least the first fifteen hundred. So, I, you know, that's where it's at right now. But I'm going to be paying for it out of my own pocket as long as I can. And when I can't anymore, that's when we'll talk about, you know, what do we want to do? Do we just want to stop him now or do we want to shut this bitch down? Because we, I'm telling you right now, guys, I can, I, my, uh, there's something out there I can do to shut this bitch down. It's going to cost a little money and, and we'll talk about it later. But, um, yeah, he, he pissed me off. He pissed me off. He pissed somebody, so a few other people off, to be honest with you. Uh, people that I, I can't talk about it right now. We're just not, we're going to leave it at that. Um, like I said, we're playing our game tonight. Where in the world is Skeptic San Diego? First hint, not San Diego. Um, we're probably somewhere in the United States somewhere, but I'm not going to uh, confirm nor deny that fully just yet. So here we go. But by the time you're done with the lawsuit and Kate, you you will not um, win. So I can't say anything derogatory or hateful about Kate or harass Kate in any way because that's the judge's orders and I'm going to follow them. But I can say specifically, I'm doing things and I am not going to stop. So if this is your whole life, then, then enjoy it because I like learning the legal process. I'm learning a lot. And so right now I'm going to go down and get this accomplished. He's learning a lot, but he's failed to learn the one thing that is the probably the most important thing to learn, and that's get a fucking lawyer, you dumb buck. But he can't because he can't afford that. Right this very second. And I thought I'd bring you guys with me. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Um, I don't think that's entirely true, Kurt, but at the same time, I can't say anything that's harassing or defaming or demeaning about her. So what she projected was that she raised $50,000. That's right, Canadian so check. I have to say we that that's what she either. did because I don't want to defame her if that's not true. If I tell a lie and it can be proven that I lied about her, that's defamation. And so she projected that she raised $50,000, and so I'm saying that she did. I'm not calling her a liar. I'm not defaming her. I don't think she has a Other problem Other people have that said that they don't believe that, but I've never said that. So, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, what, yeah, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to get... And then, so this is the first step, and then the next step is the injunction. Remember, there's there's some filing fees and stuff I have to cover. I raised some money for that. Um, I don't know, lawyer McLaughlin, but give me, let me grab some water. Oh, you son of a gun. You son of a gun. You motorboating son of a gun. And then we did the live the next morning. Um, oh, wow. Look at that driving. Distracted driving, Chili. That's a violation of California law. I hope you know that. Sure you will sometime soon. Oops. Screen jumped on me. Give me one second. And um, the knee is not good. I, I can't go very long. I can walk. So I had to walk up three flights of stairs for the event the other night in Hollyweird. And... Um, by about the third flight of, of steps, my knee really was not good. Let me tell you something, Chili. All that shit you talk about me. Uh, when I was traveling through Europe and I just, you know... <laughs> I just went through this with people live in my chat with video. We, we walked this whole thing. I did kilometers of climbing. And you talk shit about me. Like you're going to just walk all over me. Yeah, we're going to see about that. I'm, I'm in way more shape, that, better shape than you are. And I don't have to complain about, oh, my knee's broken, guys. How many, he co always complains about that. Every time he knows that, that, you know, somebody he's run his fucking mouth at, you know, every time he thinks, he's like, oh, man, Leducator's getting kind of close to me. My knee starts hurting. My lower back and my knee starts hurting. Oh, my God, guys. My blood pressure's rising. Of course it is. You're fucking scared of people. Well, except women. You're scared of men. All right, let me read off some super chats so that I don't get behind on them. And then we're going to uh, keep back up with the videos. Keep back up. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Uh, Karen Walker, $5. Love you, Daddy. TTU forever, baby. TTU, baby. Can I get a one if you are proud to be a member of the fucking Trifold Trolled Unite Army? TTU, baby. I just want to see a one or a TTU, baby, or just the horns. 
Throw them up. Throw them up. Jeremy Potter, Jenny Potier, one ninety nine cents. Thank you very much, Jenny Patricia Maddox, new member. Love you, Patricia. Look, Ma, no hands. Five dollars. Said he would finish uh, in one sec. Not surprised. Look, Ma, no hands. I right? no hands at all. Carly, two dollars. Don't be ashamed, but someone just crawled by. Oh man, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not alarmed. <laughs> Matt Bravo, $10, TTU, sounds like your vacation is awesome. Thank you very much. Purple Butterfly, member, two months, who's crawling on the floor behind you? Mm. I don't know. Uh, $5, Rubber Ducky, don't sweat it. I have bail money and a full list of non-extradition <laughs> countries. I hear Moldova is pretty uh, pretty nice this time of year, not even uh, for a little dub for him. Yeah, yeah, we can... Uh, we can uh we can get out of that. We can we can stay on the move uh for a few more months <laughs> while we evade Interpol. Uh Navy Girl, member four months, having a bad day. So glad you're alive. Navy Girl, I'm so glad you're here. Um Ugbar Smash, two dollars. Interpol can't find you because you're too fantastic. Uh yeah, they've tried and failed. Uh the FBI, member four months, glad to see you're back. Can't wait for more videos. I have one coming out in a day or two, probably tomorrow. Uncle Artie's Bar and Grill is stupidity. $5 every 500 subs you bring into the Bar and Grill. Get you 50% off your next watered-down drink. Woo! Tina Slay, congrats from the past weekend, TTU, baby. Uh, Louis Peterson, congrats to uh, to Tina for sure. Louis, Louis Peterson, new member. All right, Louis, love you. I'm trying to stop from in this mic, but... Unfortunately, ain't doing it. Uh, Jerry Ann Marin, 999 team, love you and think he's going to be on the road to being a flat earther. He's so hard to watch. I only do it for you, Demon Kate and Shizzle and Josh. LOL. Mark the sarcastic law student. Remember, four months because screw chili. TTU, baby. IDA and Kate always wins. That's right. Paul Frazier, 449. Will I be sued if I say Cholito is less smart than an amoeba? No, that's factually correct. Tim Skep Team Skeptic and Kate always rules. TTU, yeah, TTU, baby. Slay two, five dollars to start the TTU fund. Hey, it is what it is. And then Jerry Ann Moran, we're gonna stop here um, for twenty dollars. Shut him down. Happy to help. Um, well, when the time is right, I'm gonna ask y'all what y'all want to do. You know, there's gonna be defending this guy until the point that he just you know, gives up, which he doesn't give up, or they're sh shutting him the fuck down. Now, let's just be honest. It's not going to cost a lot, okay? But it is going to cost more than what I have, so we will have to do a little bit of fundraising. But what do you want? Do you put a one if you want to shut him the fuck down, or put a two if you just want to keep defending me a little bits and pieces at a time until he gives up. What do you want to do? Because you know what? I can do either one. It's just going to take one of them. It's going to take a little bit of fundraising from me and you and whatever, you know, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's really not a lot. But I got I got someone on my team right now that can shut him the fuck down. So what do we do? I'm seeing a lot of ones there. Seen a few twos. In fact, you know what? We'll do a poll. I'll do a poll, and then y'all can vote as we... Uh, if they change that. Oh, start a Q&A. Start a poll. Hey, I like that. They have a Q&A idea now, too. All right. <clears throat> Fend him off. Or shut him the fuck down. Question is, what do you want? It's free to answer. Answer as you please. I'll read a few more super chats while y'all vote. The CIA, member four months. We got you. I can get a lot of dollars in 10 days. Well, <clears throat> it won't be, we wouldn't have to do this anytime soon. It would be something that would be a little bit further down the road because, like I said, I'm out here playing chess while that motherfucker's playing go fish. That's just being honest. Stuart Christmas, fourteen ninety nine Sega Genesis dollars. Just woke up. Where's all my whiskey and where are my shoes? Hey, 
This was for Jerry Ann Marin and Stuart Christmas, a longtime supporter of the channel and a really good friend of mine. Talked to him quite a bit, quite frequently while I was on a uh, vacation. And, uh, you know, good friend. Along with Dark Light and Bella Charge, both of those guys are, 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 all three of those guys are like super close friends to me. I love you guys. Woo. Some good whiskey. All right, a little easy. Remember, two months. I would be happy to help this shut this. I would ha be happy to help to shut this fool up. Let's see, what's the vote? 92% says shut him the fuck down. All right. Shut him down. $10, Renee Bell. Corrections, 101. Member, four months. Sue me, Chilito. TTU, team skeptic. TTU, baby. Love you guys. Articulo. Oculo. $2. My money says Chili will run away again in shame. There's some things I want to say, but I can't say just yet. Lady Moonweb, member two months. What's up? With, believe me. Believe me when I tell you. You'll be hearing from from you'll be hearing about this shit when I'm in Chicago next. Come come find me, Chili. Where in the world is Skeptic San Diego? Gave you hint number two. That's next week, though. My brain hurts. Five dollars. TTU. Giggle. Horns up, baby. Casey Cooper. Remember four months. TTU team and Kate always wins. You know we do. NANA for 666. Hey, thumbs up. Thumbs up back to you. According to Aza, remember four months. I like how you skim past the rosy ones or the nosy ones. All right. We're going to stop it there and then we'll pick it up in a minute. I want to get back to the video. Here we go. So... You know, I got to get that MRI. MRI is coming up this next week, so I'll get an MRI and then we'll know exactly what's wrong with my knee. But I'm not going to have it next week. It'll be after the 15th of November. That's when the MRI will be. Oh, man. It's Los Angeles, it is just gorgeous here today. Wow. I don't know where you guys are, but, man, this is just wonderful today out here in Southern California. Just gorgeous. I mean, look at this place. Just absolutely beautiful. So... Anyway, yeah, and um, and moderators, do me a favor. Uh, take it easy on people. Don't just time out people or block people because you have a beef with them or they were a troll. If they start to say troll is shit, then you time them out or we'll just straight block them off my page. Um, but, you know, we got we to gotta open it up because people are... I do want to point out how few blue mods I have, but how many green supporters I have. I love you guys. We're going to start to see as the... So here, as the truth comes out, as the truth comes out, right, even the people who were previous trolls, some of those people who aren't just full of hate like that crazy guy Todd... Um, they'll start to come over because like, so we, we showed it yesterday, right? What did we show yesterday? My van was not repossessed. If you go look at my community page, the insurance company doesn't pay off $30,000 for a repossessed van. That's not how that works. So we're slowly but surely showing that what comes from the opposition is just a bunch of lies. And so. Well, lies and jokes. And, and sometimes a joke has a lot of lying to it. Implying, it's like satirical implication, Chili. Most of those people that said your van got stolen, especially after the police report came out. Well, I mean, the ones that said that your van got repossessed after the police came, report came out. And um, I believe Kate was the one that put out the police report when she put it out and it showed that it was actually fucking stolen. Not you putting it out, but them putting it out to show that it was stolen and not repossessed. Anybody saying it was repossessed after was just doing it to piss you off, was just doing it to to get under your skin and you just walk right into it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe the internet is not the best place. Or maybe the internet is okay for you, but it needs to be behind a paywall. So that way only people that truly support you can see your message, not the other people like myself or Kate or Josh or, you know, Brainy Beaver or Tones or Irish Demon or any of those people. You know, over time, people will see that there's lies. I, I you know, just, just for the record here for everybody, I don't have a Ponzi scheme and I don't blackmail investors. So that's not true. <laughs> Just along with the lie that my van was repossessed, I also do not blackmail my investors and I do not have a Ponzi scheme. Additionally, just so I can continue down the reason why I'm suing, I do not have multiple lines of credit. I do not borrow money from one investor to pay back another investor. Those are patently false lies and defamation. Well, you forgot to add the fact that you do not have thick enough skin to be on a public forum, Chili. Like, why do you put it out in public if you don't want the public to respond to it? You can't just say, hey, public, here's my here's my dumbass ideas. But 
everybody but the people that actually like me are allowed to comment. Those people are allowed to comment. And the other people, if you don't like me and you got something negative to say, just keep it to yourself because you're not allowed to say it around me. I'll sue you. Especially if what I'm saying is true. That's the worst kind of, that's what hurts you the worst is what we, a lot of what we say is true. That we released the fact that you had a, uh, you have this open, um, open restraining order against you at a, with a girl in Alaska. You say, where's a victim? Well, there's victims out there, Chili. <laughs> uh, come on, let's go. We got to, like I said, we got to dance. And so I just wanted to make sure, um, yo, it's time. There you are, it's time. So good to see you, it's time. I'm glad you're back. It's time changed their name. So uh, we know who you are, it's time. We know who you are. Good to see you. Good to see you, P P Pistol Rex. What's going on, Playboy? What's going on? Listen, um, and, and I told you guys what's really funny is, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm gonna do this next project um, where I go from. Uh, I'll teach you guys intermittent fasting. It's a website I'm doing called uh, Don't Push the Button. Press X to doubt if he's gonna teach intermittent fasting. See, I, I don't get this, Chili. I just don't get it. You say you want that the whole biggest thing in the world is overturning Terry versus Ohio, right? but you're going to teach intermittent fasting and you're going to sue me and you're going to sue Kate and you're going to sue all these other people who criticize you. When are you going to have time to do all this? You know, the courts are only open from like eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the evening. That's the only time you have to do things. You still got to sleep and eat. Well, one type of person never has to sleep, but of course, Chili's not that one type of person. That's just me being, you know, satirical and hyperbolic. And, and it's, um, I've gotten so fat for me. I'm, you know, probably 25% yes. body fat right now, which makes me feel just miserable, to be honest. It makes me feel absolutely freaking miserable. Let's confirm Chili has fucking depression, chocolate ice cream eating himself to being fucking fat. Um, whatever you're doing out there, chat, keep doing it. Let's make him fucking, let's, let's push him over the top. Let's make him a little roly poly. Let's let's bring him to the size of David Condon. How about that? That's a challenge for you, chat. You know, um, I don't feel good being this fat. And just so you guys know, if you want to get fat, I, I got fat in like a month. Remember in September, I was down to like 11, 12% body fat and I'm probably 25% body fat. Um, and I what got up, fat HD really quick Tony, by just putting you, sugar and creamer in my coffee and adding uh, carbohydrates right when I wake up in the morning. I never give my body a chance no, you got, you got fucking fat because your caloric intake remained the same, but your caloric burn reduced heavily. And, and I'm sorry, but you probably have really strong fucking typing fingers right now. Um, but you, you know, you're, you're putting on weight for that simple fact because you can't stop eating, but you're also not working out like you used to. It's very simple. It's physics. If your calorie intake is greater than your calorie burn, you're going to store fat. You're going to put on fat to go into fat burning zone i constantly am inserting sucrose in it which is sugar so like last night i woke up and i had a few small little okay. candy bars in the middle of the I'm night i woke up i put a bunch him. of sugar in my coffee and as long Talk as you continue and the reason i'm looking about. old is because i'm throwing so much sugar no. in my <laughs> using intermittent fasting apoptosis yeah. autophagy these systems combine together that reduce the wrinkles on your face it takes the wrinkles out of your eyes like right now you guys may see i'm looking old and the reason i'm looking Put a one if you agree in the chat that Chili's looking older with every video he posts. Every lawsuit he posts adds about six months of fucking wrinkles to his face. Also, put a one in the chat if you don't think he's fucking gonna <laughs> undo his wrinkles. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Chili. I'm gonna undo my wrinkles. How? By fucking adding more helium to your fucking head so it expands even more than it already is? It's just going to make you look fatter. Old is because I'm throwing so much sugar in my body that my wrinkles are, are enhanced. You guys will see that when I start <laughs> this intermittent fasting program, within the first two or three days, you will watch the wrinkles disappear off my face. It's incredible what happens. I want to know if those wrinkles are maybe makeup right now. Like, what if, look, what if Chili's starting to pull the fucking, pull a fast one on us, right? So he just went in and he painted a bunch of fucking wrinkles on his face to make him look way older so that he can just wipe them off when he gets home and be like, look, I started intermittent fasting and all my wrinkles are gone. Oh, he's such a dipshit. I can give you guys a simple point of reference for this. 
you remember that woman who got lost in the woods? She got lost in the woods for like 12 or 13 days. It was, I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was just recently in the last couple years. And then when she uh, came out of the woods, apparently what that stuff is, the garbage and ketchup. And so she put that into her timeline project, uh, November 20th. That's that's my hard date for starting that timeline project. Oh yeah, okay. Then, whoop, whoop. Sorry about that. Here we go. I'm gonna pop right here. We, f we keep Chili on focus, even when Chili can't keep himself on focus. Sorry, homie. So, if you guys can follow, listen, this is why I'm going to teach it in such a long series of videos. And I'm only going to do about 20 or 30 minutes a day um, as I'm doing uh, the, the timeline project, uh, November 20th. That's, that's my hard date for starting that timeline project, November 20th. But if you guys want to really learn how to use intermittent fasting, especially for boomers and older Gen Xers and even younger Gen Xers, you know, there comes a certain time where it's really, really hard to keep fat off your body. And so I'm going to teach two it's called different kinds old, of systems. Dipshit. It's called getting old. You're getting older every fucking day. You're wasting your fucking last good days of your life before people commit you under a 5150 arguing with me and Kate in court over freedom of speech. But hey, please continue. I'm going to teach an intermittent fasting system where you just cut your meals down to a certain time period every day. So many people, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Dr. Rhonda Patrick knows about it. Read as much literature as I could, but I always like to learn from someone who's teaching me something. Fat or skinny, so it's incredible. Because it's it's how long you don't eat. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Let's get that off the point. I always, I always just follow get off of that topic. To these huge cities. Yeah, that's not distracted driving at all, guys. Listen, I mean... <laughs> he's reading the chat. You're welcome to do and say whatever you want. See, but he's reading... He's driving and reading the chat at the same time. Enough to... Comp enough... He's reading enough of the chat, given, spending enough time looking at the phone screen to comprehend what is being said and to form a thought about it. That's distracted driving, Chili. Stop it, please. For humanity, for the citizens of LA, please stop it. You say harmful speech, and then that harm can be proven. Then, and there's a few more elements to, to tort law, but, but, you know, if you decide to play rough, well, okay, let's play rough. So hold on now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you decide to play rough, let's play rough, right? Now I could say that that's not hyperbolic speech, right? I could honestly say that that's, um, he's threatening people by saying that, is he not? I mean, he is threatening people. If what I, if everything I say is to be taken literal and there's no hyperbolic, you know, I can't say, oh, I'm tracking him like a great white without meaning that I've actually followed him around and without him knowing I've shot a fucking tracking dart into his ass. That never happened. So I'm not tracking you like an actual great white. It's hyperbolic speech. And, it, and it's protected under the First Amendment. You don't like it, get the fuck off the internet. It might not be for you, Chili. If that's how we're going to do it. I mean, I don't want to do this. I'd rather be doing something else. Hey, Yum, um, you should take a look at these, uh, this video that I got coming out. It's a six-hour video. You should... Yum, yum. What's going on, my friend? I'll see you in Vegas. <laughs> I'll see you in Vegas. We're going to go and we're going to rent the biggest suite at the top of the penthouse and we're going to party. We're going to bring Lawyer McLaughlin and Greg and we're all going <laughs> to... Lawyer McLaughlin. <laughs> all right. So this was on his way to court with me, of course. This is... This, uh, that's where we're going to... Um, we're going to jump over to the next video now. Hold on. Give me one second to... Uh, give me one second to set that up. What's up with the Playboy? What's nope. going on with the nope. Playboy? I I think that we're gonna have uh you have rights, cops have duties is gonna come on tonight, but it's a criminal, yay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch this for just a bit, um, because he's gonna talk about uh he's gonna talk about my our little issue that everybody's been asking me about, but I can't really talk about it. But he is, and I'm gonna let him tell you what happened in court uh the other day. Allegedly. It's going to be a little bit late because I got a bunch of errands that I have to run as I pack a few things here. So I'm going to 
I'm gonna be in flux here for a little bit so I can still have people. Um, I can't see the comments, is everybody still here? Um, all messages are visible. There we go, now I can see your messages. Do me a favor guys, push the like button. Would you all hit the like button? Hit the like button for me. Hey, do that guys, hit the like button. We also gotta uh, talk about something else. I did not realize that you guys had already uh, started uh, putting a few dollars into the PayPal, man. So let me go over this real quick. That was so awesome, you guys. Um, I'm just going to read initials, RF, uh, $5. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and then we have, uh, well, let me see if there was a message. There was no message with that one. RF, MB sent me $100. Kick his bunghole out of the top of his head, skeptic. Oh, let me get on camera for you guys, too, while I do this, while I read this. Uh, appreciate it, man. That's fucking awesome of you guys. Uh, straight up. Let me, uh, there we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that was MB sent the hundred dollars says kick his bunghole out of the top of his head skeptic legally speaking of course but yes that's the idea I uh, let's see Patrick Rousseau sent you oh man I just said your name god damn it ten dollars I'm sorry I'm just reading it PR um I love you thank you so much for helping out I do apologize for uh, reading out your name RH sent you also a hundred dollars from uh okay we'll put your name in there Re from rebecca lynn to help against Chilito. well thank you very much rebecca lynn do appreciate you do appreciate you um yeah and if anybody else puts any money in i'll, I'll check it at the end of the night uh like i said I, I i'm not asking for a lot right now because i've paid 750 to my lawyer already once i gotta pay it for him a second time and then that's when we're gonna get things together and have a, a total for you guys to actually use to uh, to shut him the fuck down. All right. And when we got that total, we'll raise to that point and stop it right there. Because I'm not the, you know, if anybody that's ever followed my channel, you know, one thing, I don't go asking for money to do things, you know, like I do. If you guys want to donate, that's great. But I don't do, I really don't do fundraisers. I, I will probably need to for this. If we're going to shut them the fuck down, it's probably going to cost more than what I can pay out of my pocket. So we'll, we'll get to that. And everything that's taken in tonight will always be accounted for. Um, because we do, I've already, like I said, I've already paid 750 out of my pocket for the lawyers. Uh, that's already fucking happened, but no big deal. Uh, and it is going to happen at least one more time uh, while I travel around uh, Northern America to avoid Interpol. If you would, pretty please. So I'll tell you what I just did. I just went to court. Um, hit the like button. Hit the like button, please. Do it. Oh, we can't do it. There's someone in the crosswalk. God bless America. God bless America. Hit the like button, if you would, please. How's everybody today? What's going on out there in the land of YouTube? Big buses are going by here, so let me get well, out of traffic people here. people are I'll fucking to continuing guys. to fucking eat crayons. And lick windows for a living so that they can fucking pay for you to drive around L.A. with dumbass headphones on your ears. A another violation of California law. Chili. You all night. So I'm going to jump on the freeway here and I'm going to be able to just fly through. It's going to be great. He's like, I can look at, I can look at chat all day right long. It's going to be great. Wait, I got just lane assist. <laughs> so let me get this phone plugged in too. Put my phone in here, going straight through this light. I'm still downtown LA, so it's it's. So he's telling people where he's at, but hey, look, he's telling people where he's at, but it's my fault. People can track him, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? How's that my fault? You're telling everybody where you're at. You're about to fucking show your camera. You're about to show off a monument and be like, oh, look at this monument over here. Uh, people know where you're at. Once you do that, Chili, you do realize that, right? They can just follow you while you stream and know exactly when you're making a right-hand turn, a left-hand turn. Oh, you're so dumb. You'll never learn. This is why I can't. We'll, the, the, the motto of tonight's show is, Chili, maybe the internet isn't for you. OK, maybe you maybe you should hide on the Internet behind a paywall and just have the 50 people that you have. See how much you can charge them and charge them to come watch you spew your nonsense. Because as long as you keep doing it in a public forum, there's going to be somebody like me or somebody like, hey, the stoned vet or um, God, dog, I, I want to remember these these other channels. I'm watching these little channels that I'm watching that are great. Um, go check out the stone vet. You can type in Chili to cash or delete laws and he's going to come up. His videos are going to come up. Go check him out. He's a fucking good content creator. He's funny. 
Um, there's also, I can't think of the, the, the guy's name right now. God damn it. Before the end of this show, I'm going to tell you another channel to go watch, another smaller channel to go watch, uh, because I watch these guys and they're funny and you're, it's like back in the day when we used to do flat earth, right? The, all these little smaller channels that grew up and, and first got their, their start like Schrodinger were doing flat earth, covering flat earth, not uh, agreeing with flat earth, but making fun of flat earthers. Chili is the new flat earther. The new lol cow. Yeah, he'll call it an LOL cow, but Chili, it's called a lol cow. The, the fact that you call it an LOL cow makes you an actual lol cow. So, anyway. All right, well, we're going to keep on going. When you go downtown, it's, it's just this whole series of lights. I'm going to find that other channel really for you guys. Hold on. Place downtown Los Angeles. It's just Can't read that. really not a... It's not easy. It's not easy. I'll tell you that. You really got to know what you're doing. So, let me tell you something. You know, there, just so you know. So, like, for me, for my life, right, just so you know, the, the things oh, that yeah. I'm dealing with right now in Hold my on. life are surreal. Because, you know. Uh, let me get this stop. <laughs> The things he's dealing with in his life are not surreal. They are real as shit. Everybody that goes through life the way you go through life is also a perennial loser. It's not surreal. You're not the only person that's having to deal with all the, the fucking failures in life and also putting those failures in a public forum for everybody to laugh at. Chris Chan did it. Uh, Cyrax does, does it still, I believe, to this day. Uh, a lot of people do it, all right? You're not the only one, so it's not surreal. It's your, You're just what we call a layup in this world. It's really easy for us to, to get a win with you. Every time you speak, it's really easy because we just know you're all fucking, you're stupid, and all your fucking followers are stupid, and anything you say is either going to be a lie or completely incorrect. That's why we track you, because you're funny. Funny to laugh at. How, how, do you, how do you say that properly? How do you say that properly? I'll give her a call back. Um, listen, growing up and, and all throughout my life, right? And this, and by the way, this is a, a, also part of the reason why some people don't like me. But <laughs> listen, I have been the coolest guy in America since I went to college. I got along with everybody. I've always been the absolute life of the party wherever I go. I've always contributed to anything I've ever been a part of, you know? And so growing up, you know, having... You know, growing up, I would say, I, I think that if you're born intelligent and charismatic, that you are blessed. And so I was always. Which is why the universe fucking shits on you, because you're neither fucking intelligent or beautiful or charismatic. You're a bit charismatic. I think that's probably what your one quality feature is, is you're a bit charismatic, but beautiful. No, you're fucking aging like a fucking rock uh, and uh, intelligent. You would have to give me a citation on that. Are we redefining what intelligent means? Because if we're redefining intelligent, then yeah, maybe sure, you're intelligent. Like a jackass, you know? You're about as intelligent as the ass on a jackass. Um, but if we're going by what I consider to be intelligent, no, you're not intelligent at all. In fact, you're uh, half past a monkey's ass, quarter to his brains. That's where you're at in the intelligence scale. He's blessed and I always knew that and I've always kind of been cool with people. So, so, you know, I, I didn't have a group growing up. I was friends with everybody from the, I, you know, I was kind of nerdy and at the same time I was friends with the jocks. I was friends with the preps. I was friends with the stoners. I was friends with everybody. And so this a friend of everybody is a friend of nobody, Chili. All right. If you have to say every single person, I was a friend with that person. I was a friend. I was, then you have no idea what having a friend means. And that I do believe. I do believe that. And you also have to think, were you, were they your friends or were y'all mutual friends? Because, I mean, did they like you as well or did you just like them? Did you, when you walked past the jocks in the, in the, uh, in the hallway, when you were going through, you know, your high school, did you say, I like those guys and just keep walking and they just talk to each other in a circle as you pass by without even saying hi? That's not mutual friendship. You can't say I was friends with everybody, all right? 
You have a, everybody has to like you too. And I, whatever you say, okay, you can tell me you're convinced that you're the likable person, but I'm telling you right now from a commonsensical standpoint, you are the most unlikable person I've had the actual fucking pleasure of dealing with on the fucking internet to this day. Nobody fucking likes you. People like Daniel Pratt more than they like you. And that's saying a lot. People like Nathan Thompson more than they like you. That's saying a lot, Chili. Your own people, the one that you, the ones that you uh, say, are, coordinate with, you know, they don't like you either. These are facts. <laughs> the auditors don't like you. And you sit there and say, I'm a top five auditor, hands down. No, you're not. No, you're not. I know auditors out there that are doing it way better than you, and I don't even fucking agree with them, but they are doing it better than you are. Your idea of an audit is a fist bump and a, hey, can I get your card, sir? Thank you for your politeness, sir. And then as he drives off, he goes, man, Jeff hates pigs. Jeff hates pigs. Well, Chili loves fucking pigs. Chili's a fucking, Chili eats bacon for breakfast every day just in support of pigs. Straight up. This thing where like these these hate groups survive on YouTube and they target people who are actually likable and fun and go out with people and hang out and you know like you know <laughs> if you can get me to go out and turn and put my put my party hat on then um um I'm a lot of fun you know you just got to get me to, to agree to go to the party and most I'm of the time I won't go I'm, you know you can't get me out of the house I'd rather just work so so experiencing the man that has to tell you that he's the life of the party. Is not the life of the party. All right. I go out. I have a good time. That's what I do. People like to talk to me. But I ain't the life of the party. <laughs> you guys are the life of the party. I'm just here fucking having a good time. I mean, I ain't got to go around telling people, Chili, hey, you know what? You should invite me to your party. I will go in there and convince everybody to overturn Terry vs. Ohio before the night's over. That's how good of a party guest I am. You're a fucking moron, Chili. The things I'm experiencing where I have to sue people for defamation and for the bullshit they pulled, it's just really weird. It's, a, it's kind of a surreal position to be in, to be honest, because it's not a position I've ever been in before. I've, I've never had a large group of people who said, oh, I just don't like this guy. It's just never happened to me. Welcome to the internet, Chili. Since the day you stepped on you, well, really since the day I, I, cover, I brought you on for a, a, a live debate. Ever since that day, you've had a massive amount of people that have hated you. They just hate you. You're a piece of shit. You're a very unlikable person. You attacked a janitor for no reason. You attacked Kate. You physically attacked Kate. And then you ran to the cops. The one thing you tell everybody not to do, you've ran to the cops. You've told people that uh, you wish bone cancer on children. People don't like you. Every time you open your mouth, the number of people that show up to one of these live, live streams increases. Every time you open your mouth, I gain subs. I don't even have to do anything anymore. It's that fucking simple. You are a low cow. Every time you put out another video, you make yourself look dumber, Chili. Every time you file a fr frivolous lawsuit, every time you try to file a frivolous motion, every time you try to sue somebody who is not just in another state, but another fucking country for harassment and protection order, you are become more and more laughable. And we laugh. Put one in the chat if you've laughed recently at chili to dipshit. Chili de Karen, the Shaquille O'Neal of mental midgets. Look at all the ones. Those are people that have laughed at you recently, Chili. Thanks to Irish Demon. Thanks to Faux Shizzle. Thanks to Kate. Thanks to me. And that's our right. You as a constitutional scholar should know that. But you keep on keeping on. Because it's about to bite you hard. So... So that's what I was just dealing with, though. I was I was just having to go and go down and, and, and take the legal actions I'm taking against one of these hate channels, and that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, we 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 push on until the 18th, and so um, 
Yeah, we're gonna talk about that tonight for sure. We're gonna have a conversation about that tonight. Everybody hit the like button if you would please. Hit the like button if you would. Everybody hit the like button right now. Hit the like button if you would please. How many likes do we have? We always gotta stop it and check it because I'm not as vain as chilly. I don't go checking all the time. What's my like ratio right now? 860? Guys, we have 1,581 people watching. Can we get that to 1,000? Can we get it to 1,000? That's your, your boy skeptics just needs a thousand likes. Please, like Chili says, please. All right, I'll read a few super chats, and then once we get to a thousand likes, I'll stop. That's motivation right there. All right, uh, Blanche Bowles. Blanche Bowles, I said your name right. Ten dollars. I fell asleep with Irish and woke up to team. What's better than that? Nothing. Now, don't wreck my surname, team. <laughs> I didn't. I got it right. Jesse Lee, $10. It's funny how he copied a TTU initials with his overturned Terry initials. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. He, he of course, needs, he needs something. He needs somebody to look up to, and I just happen to be his role model at this point. TTU in the chat. Um, that inspired his OTVO. Uh, Jinx Biohazard, two Canadian dollars. Give a like if you got teams back. TTU, baby. TTU. Little Sassy, two Canadian dollars. Make him surrender. I will. And we had some more super chat or some more um, PayPal's come in, so I do want to get those out of the way. Oh, a thousand likes. All right, we'll pick it up in a second. Little Sassy, two Canadian dollars. Make him surrender. Of course, Barbie doll, two dollars. Like Public Enemy says, shut him down. That's right. Purple butterfly, two dollars. What does your attorney recommend? Uh, we, I, I can't talk about what he's told me, <laughs> but uh, I will in one, in, in a short period of time, I'll be able to tell you guys everything, every little last detail of that, but not right now. Look, Ma, no hands, $20. Ooh, get some triple black James, uh, label Jameson that says, shut him the fuck down. Shot in the hand. I do have some, uh, black label Jameson over there. Um, but I'm not drinking it tonight. I'm sipping on this. Like I said, taking a few little sips of this red label with Jerry Ann Marin for $20. Uh, want to shut him down, but he needs to learn a law lesson. Um, when we shut him down, he will learn that law lesson, Jerry Ann. Okay? Just so you know. Uh, home Chef. Remember, Chili has the creepiest laugh. It's because it's fucking fake as shit. It's the fakest thing on the internet. He like He really cannot... Like anytime he tries to tell you he's happy, it's followed by that increasing or uh, like obviously fake laugh. Like he's not, he can't laugh like we laugh when we laugh at him. God damn it. I lost my fucking spot. There it is. Tina Slay, member six or member five months. Thank you everyone for the hugs. Justice for Caleb. Uh, like I said, Tina, you'll be getting a PayPal from me um, for what we talked about. What we talked about and i want everybody to know that you in the chat because y'all were as generous as y'all were to me over the past couple of months that's the only reason i'm able to do that for tina and we're doing something nice so tina it's not from me it's from all of us over here can we get a ttu for tina slay in the fucking chat right fucking now chili will fucking hate it i want to see a ttu in the chat right now for fucking tina slay chili will hate you for fucking doing it you will be added to a lawsuit if you put ttu in the chat right now you're going to be added to a fucking lawsuit all right, Christina Eccles, five Canadian dollars. Uh, delete has a tiny pee pee. That's what I heard, anyways. Oh, allegedly, she allegedly heard it. Christian, Christina Williams, for twenty dollars. Thank you very much. We'll take a shot in a second for you. All you twenty dollars super chats. MMC, two thousand three. Bam, Batman needs the Joker. Ha ha. TTU for life. That's right. He's my Joker. I'm y'all's Batman. He's my Joker. And that was that was thank you for five dollars also William Graber remember seven months uh expose his reality to all and his grift I have something for that when he says that uh me calling him a scammer is a lie I've got something for that chili don't worry about it I've got something for that Lori five dollars uh we love rich innocent and dragged into the madness of chili mm. yeah we love rich I, I I haven't talked to you rich rich Gregson uh master superior billionaire spy I commend you. This shot is for all those $20 super chats, including commentator, commentator, auditors, $20 chili is yelling, go fish while team is yelling, checkmate, TTU, baby. We haven't got checkmate yet, but we're setting it up. This is for you guys. Mm. Good whiskey. Uncle Artie's Bar and Grill stupidity for $5. Don't tell them where you're staying at a hotel. Behind the Bar and Grill, your room is going to cost you 1,000 subs for Uncle Artie. Go sub to Uncle Artie. All right, we're going to read through 
um, these um, these uh, PayPal's real quick that came in. Thank you very much, everybody. DS for twenty dollars, no message. Thank you, DS. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. JCT sent ten seventy behind you all the way, Team Skeptic. Thank you, love you guys. Um, LF a hundred dollars for the future legal fund. Like I said, all this is going to towards my next one. Uh, I've got to pay my lawyer one more time. I do have seven hundred fifty dollars that I already paid, but all this is going to go to the next payment to the lawyer. So I, I will give you guys all the receipts when it's all said and done. So that you know where I put it. AG saying can't give much low income and don't feel the need to, guys. Um, there, there, we'll we'll get it taken care of no matter what. If it, just please don't don't if if you're low income, please don't don't do that. You're doing just enough to just be here watching. Thank you so much, and I do appreciate it. AG for four seventeen can't give much low income. Keep up the good work and making the world a better place one bad fight at a time. Got your six. That's the one thing that you guys can know about is that. You know, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight these pieces of shit. That's what I'm going to do moving forward. All right, let's see what this SW for $5. Thank you very much. All right, good deal. Good deal. Thank you guys so much. Y'all y'all really mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's get back to the stupid. <laughs> That's a creepy laugh. So anyway, I wanted to ask you guys though, before I got, I kind of got caught off on this kind of weird tangent just now because it's like I'm dealing with this weird I'm dealing with this weird ass stuff like weird things like like just so you guys know you know um I I'll stop talking about it I, I want to talk more about you know how many people have set up that they're going to their city council meeting council meeting when is that when he's gonna have people laughing his fucking friends out of court we're gonna skip past this part I want to hear where he talks about uh what happened but just so you know, all those people are going to show up there and they're going to start saying the same thing that he says just without knowing the argument. And he's going to be like, they're going to be going there and go, hey, uh, we need to eliminate torture cuffs and give everybody Velcro straps. I'm telling you, Bucky Skeptic's about to make a torture cuff appearance at a city council meeting. Just to go in there and say, hey, everybody, yes, city council, hi, how you doing? I'm Bucky Skeptic. And I have everybody behind me go, hey, Bucky. Say, we need to end torture cuffs. Give every cop some Velcro straps. Everyone said, they give them digital detainment. It's where you shine a camera on somebody and they stop running away. It works, I promise you. Bucky Skeptic, that's right. Put a one in the chat if you love Bucky Skeptic. Bucky Skeptic loves you too, chat. And I, don't, I don't like losing muscle. That's just not. That's why November 14th for Chevy, hell yes. Torture cuffs. Colin, what's going on? Colin, not Cromwell. So what, what we're doing is we're looking for um, when you're going to your city council meeting. I'm trying to look at the, I'm trying to make, always keep my eyes on the road and every once in a while I glance down and say hi to you guys. But um, when are you going to your I love when he admits to committing a crime on camera. He just did that. He literally just admitted to committing a crime on camera. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chili DeCastro. Uh, thank you, Jose Maria De Castro, 48 years old of Los Angeles County, California. City council meeting. Can you guys drop in the comment section below, if you would, please? Let me know the date of when you're going to your city council meeting. What does TT mean? I was mean? waiting for a few more people, people to get in here, Biff. Told you not, I was baby. For a few more That's all I was doing, Biff. Waiting for a few more people, and I and I actually wanted to know more how many. People Shout out to Biff. People have set up to go to the city council meeting to go and tell the, the city council members about the torture cuffs. Well, where can you go, Dan? You need to go to a city council meeting within 50 miles of you then. Listen, it, it, any city council meeting will do, but you've got to go to a city council meeting and explain that torture cuffs are torture made for slaves and that we- So he's doing something right now that I never do. I never give that little five minute intro of bullshit uh, just to wait for a bunch of people to get in here. We always get right to the fucking point. So here we go. We're just going to skip up. Comment section. What is my mission? Can anybody tell me? You are- Retardation. My mission. You're my mission. Because there's no mission unless you go to your city council meetings and you start to say, we are done with torture cuffs. Uh, silent auditors going to, going, going to a city Ten council meeting. Ten minutes in. 
10 minutes in, he's still fluffing his audience to wait for people to get there. You know, everybody says get back to mission. He, he's literally waiting for 25 likes. We're back to mission. Overturn Terry versus Ohio, and now let's get rid of torture cuffs. Because what's a part of Terry versus Ohio? Detainment. Did you know that? So there's no such thing as detainment in the Constitution. There's no such magical police power that police can detain you. It doesn't exist. Did you know that? It was created in 1968 under Terry versus Ohio. This magical little space where, where some guy who went to an academy for two weeks could have complete dominion over you, especially if you were black. And now it's complete dominion over all of us, all colors, white, yellow, blue, green, purple, pink. Doesn't matter what color you are. Absolute dominion over you the moment one of these dudes says, I'm suspicious of you. The very second, the very That's not true. That's not exactly how Terry versus Ohio works. And you know this, Chili. That's why we clown you is because you you go out of your way to lie about things. You, a police officer cannot just walk up and go, I'm suspicious of you. And, be, and at that point, just shake you down. That's a violation of your fucking civil rights, especially if you haven't done anything. It, there's parameters that have to be met there. You kind of you kind of leave those parameters out and just blatantly say that, that police have a a uh, blind, like uh, just an open invitation to just walk up to every person, go, I'm suspicious of a crime and start patting you down. That's not what's happened. That's not what happened in Terry versus Ohio, neither. And you know that. So why do you continue to lie? Why do you continue to lie through omission? Something your people, I shouldn't be asking the question. Your people should be asking the question. Your people should be the ones saying, but Chili, that's not how... Terry versus Ohio went. That's not what Terry versus Ohio implies. Why are they not calling you out, Chili? Are they just too stupid to know the difference? Or are they just too blinded by following you like a fucking cult? Second, the cop says, I'm suspicious of you. That now equals what? Detainment. And what are we talking about within detainment? We're talking about torture cuffs. That's what we're talking about. So... I always say he goes like this, and he just does it. Just now, you saw him, he was like, torture cuffs. My parents didn't like me. They hated me when, my mom started hating me when I cock-blocked Dan from getting some. <laughs> Life's good. <laughs> Shut up, Chili. You're a fucking loser. Everybody knows you're a fucking loser, including this guy. We got to get there together. We got to get there. Well, of course, you use the camera first. The first type of detainment is digital detainment. The very first type of detainment would be a digital detainment. And how could you ascertain what would be an appropriate digital detainment? Someone who lives in the community, first and foremost. Someone that is not. So if somebody is not from the community, are they just not going to be under digital detainment? What if the officer doesn't know if that person's from the community or not? What if the person just decides, you know what? I don't give a fuck if they got me on camera or not. I'm out of here. These questions and more are still left to be answered by the jackass on screen. Oh, second, who would be a good candidate for digital detainment? Somebody who's already had the fight and they've already identif they've identified themselves. So if you have a domestic violence situation or you have a physical fist fight, and then by the time that the cops get there, it's over. And so you, the cops come up and there's people who are beat or, beaten or battered and then you get their identification and then you no longer have to put them in torture cuffs because you're at their house. You've got them. You got them. You got them. You got them. So um, here's the thing. And, 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 here, and here's the If you guys don't push hard and go to your city council meetings, then it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. No, it isn't going to really matter when they go in there and they start calling fucking handcuffs, torture cuffs, because then the city council is going to be like, okay, this guy's a fucking joke. They're not going to be like, you know, you got a point. They're torturous. It's just not going to happen. And you're encouraging people just to go in there and say it. Yo, get rid of torture cuffs and uh, bring in Velcro straps. Digital detainment. And be like, what's that? Oh, it's where you can digitally detain somebody on camera. That way, if they decide to run off, you know, you got them. What if we don't know them? What if they just came into town and committed a crime? You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter how much we know their we torture, know how we mean. know that you have rights, cops have duties, was absolutely decimated by the torture cuffs. <clears throat> it doesn't matter that you've experienced the torture cuffs yourself and that you've, you've had horrendous pain put on top of you by a cop who says he has dominion over you. Oh, did I freeze? I'm sorry. I hope, I hope my, my live stream didn't freeze. But until you start, 
listen, and here's the, here's the worst part for me, right? Because I don't particularly like cops. I don't particularly enjoy cop mentality. As you know, I am for law and order, but I'm, I'm not for this brand of vicious, brutal, authoritarian policing in our country. And I don't think... What he's trying to say is he doesn't like it the way it is. He would prefer it the way he wants it. And until he gets it that way, he will cry about that. He'll take everybody to court who disagrees with him uh, and suspend freedom of speech um, just because he doesn't like what the freedom of speech is. Even though he, I'm telling you, what he doesn't understand, like I, I would love to him explain how if what he's trying to do to me and trying to do to Kate, if that was done to him by the government, would he appreciate that? If the government set, came in and said, hey, you're being too mean to cops, you got to stop doing what you're doing. Just as you want the government to come in and say, hey, Team Skeptic, you're being too mean to, to Chile, we need you to leave them alone. You wouldn't like that. But of course, it's everything for me and nothing for thee, or however it goes, every, this for thee and not for me, okay, you know, whatever that fucking shit goes. You do it all the time. You tell people, hey, don't talk to cops. You're one thing. Film them and don't talk to them. Give them the trifold and shut the fuck up. And then when it comes down to it, you don't give them a trifold and shut the fuck up either. And then you say, well, I do this my way. Your job is to just survive the traffic stop. His words, not mine. To his people who just continue to buy his shit. We should have the term policing at all whatsoever. But the point is, if we moved to a more humane way of interacting with the public, where the peace officer, because I can't stand the stupid term cop, where the peace officer says, hey, look, you have been, you're, you're, you're being detained. Look in the camera and say that you agree to be detained and you point here or here, wherever the camera is. Then from there, now, if you want to break digital detainment, then you could be subjected to some form of physical restraint. But a lot of people, once the cops come, especially after they've done something wrong and they know they were in the wrong, they, they really don't want to have a physical fight further when there's someone there that can charge them with crimes that would put them in a dungeon in America. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I mean, could you imagine that by the time the peace officer arrives, that the person on the scene who had the cops called on them, could you just imagine for a moment that they don't want to get more charges once the cop arrives? But what and, and you neglect to mention what happens when they don't want any charges at all and they just want to run or they know they're going to be guilty. Let's say um, they just beat their wife, like the example you either just gave or are about to give, okay? And you say it comes up with the black guy and he knows, God damn it, if I run from the cops, I won't go to jail from tonight. What happens? You just let him run? And then he comes back later when the cops can't protect his fucking wife and, and he does something bad to her. Your idea is dumb as fuck. It is just, it just supremely dumb. No, no ifs, ands, buts about it. Come up with a better idea. Torture cuffs. Well, stop calling them torture cuffs because they're handcuffs, not torture cuffs. Just as you weren't tortured when you had, were in handcuffs in Ironton. Nobody tortured you. What happens is, because we have no transparency, you get these junior high school jocks who, you. who became cops or the biggest beta male on planet Earth becomes a cop. And then what happens next is he abuses that power by putting you in torture cuffs. Is that, I mean that. You're projecting. Am I close? I mean, is that. No, is that, you're projecting. I mean, how, how many people went to school later because somebody who became a cop that you went to school? Folks who sign up to be cops that. Okay, well, he's not going to get to it. Is it eventually, what he eventually says is um, either he's going to win or I'm going to get a continuance, which he said in the last video. Um, he didn't win. It's another L for him. Uh, and he has a future L coming due to his uh, behavior inside of court. He knows what I'm talking about. Even if nobody else does yet, he does for sure uh, because I do. And uh, I wasn't even there. Um, he still has improperly served me or hasn't served me at all, to be honest. Uh, and I'm not ending my vacation early just to be served by Chile. Uh, sorry, you're the one that chose to file a frivolous freedom of speech lawsuit against me. Uh, and you chose to do it while I was traveling. Uh, you're just going to have to deal with those consequences, Chili. Sorry, not sorry. Put a one in the chat if you're not sorry for Chili either. Uh, now, I will tell you like this, Chili. Uh, when, when I'm leaving where I'm at, I'm heading to the 
North Midwest. Shot town. Hint number two. I'll give you that one. Try to fucking serve me if you'd like. And then I'm going to Starbucks, the city of Starbucks after that. So there you go. Three hints, Chili. One, uh, where in the world is skeptic San Diego? First hint, not San Diego. Second hint, the Windy City. Third hint, Starbucks. Those three hints are cities in a row. Serve me if you can find me. That's fine. Uh, I can't hide forever. I'm not hiding. Why would I hide from him? <laughs> I've got something. Red Sox. Oh, man. Hey, Red Sox, you're all right over here, man. We don't care. We, the, the little people like yourself, you know, you, you worship chili. So, <laughs> like, life's already really bad for you. Good to see you over here actually fucking getting some uh, learning how to fucking what a real content creator looks like. I'm doing all this from this right here. This little machine. Chili sucks at life so bad he can't fucking stream. He fucking has the, the robotic, that sound all the time. I can do it from this little fucking machine right here. One day, Chili. One day. You'll know. All right. Um, yeah, Red Sox is cute, Nick Volt. I agree. Oh, Twitwit, I'm, it's all right. I'm your fan too. So you probably have two fans in here. Even if you, hey, even if you don't like me, I still like you. It's all good. You And you know I know what I'm talking about. But I also don't hate you. All right, so let me read off a couple of super chats. And, uh, oh, look at that. Uh, we also do have a few more um, people. SC2676. Team, this is for you to help fight that midget bully TTU. Baby, I stand with you. I thank you so much. Uh, P.I. Ten dollars. Shut that beta bitch down. TTU. Uh, do not worry about it. I've got that. I've got this covered. I've got it covered supremely, supremely. And uh, you know, hey, Twit, you know I love you, girl. That's why I don't. Man, I ain't worried about no what nobody else thinks. You do you, baby. Um, but anyway, let's get to the super chats. Uh, I do want to finish before Kate streams tonight, and she's streaming like. 20 minutes and I do actually have quite a bit of super chats to read uh so this is the point at which most of the people are gonna dip out oh he yeah like I said he he didn't he got a continuance he got a continuance which was expected uh that's what we we did expect um there it was crazy though it's crazy when I get to tell you the story okay when I get to tell you the story um I will tell it to you that is the one promise I'll make you when it's time to tell that story I will tell that story to you in all of its glory. Um, but we can't do it yet. I can't do it yet. Very specifically, it has to do with playing chess. Just understand I'm doing the right thing. All right? But I will, when the time is right, you'll know every last little bit. I will hold nothing back. All right. That's all I can promise you. All right? Are you good with that, chat? Are you good with that? Put a one in the chat if you're good with that. Put a two in the chat if you're not good with that, if you want me to give it to you now, but I can't, so I'm not. So put a one in the chat. Uncle Artie's bar and grill of stupidity. Oh, I read this one. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. FBI surveyor, $5. Chili says law talk with Mark is in Dallas. Have you seen him? I'm not in Dallas, FBI surveyor. I may or may not be inside of the country just yet, and I may or may not be inside of uh, New York just yet. Uh, W124 Mercedes, $5. Whooping Tyrant made it look stolen because he knew it would be repossessed. Yeah, so um, a lot of what we say is uh, hyperbolic about that. But at the same time, Chili, you left your fucking keys in the, in, in the van. You said that, that you left your keys in the van. So, I mean, it's kind of on you that it got stolen. I don't know why your insurance company would have paid you out on that. But it's it's kind of like you wanted them to get you wanted it to get stolen. That's the way it looks to a lot of us is that you wanted it to get stolen, so that way you'd get you wouldn't have to pay on it anymore, and you'd get your you know a big payout. Because you knew you probably had a, a fallback with Zane's car. You're like, look, I can use Zane's car for free. Why am I paying three hundred dollars a month or four, probably four or five hundred dollars a month? The way you negotiate shit, 
they probably looked at you and was like, no, sir, come on into the van store. Let me sell you a van at an extremely high interest rate. And you're going to you're going to pay it because you're that fucking stupid. Uh, PhD Tony, two Aussie dollars. Hiya, team. What up, Tony? Good to see. Uh, Cretan Bull, two Canadian dollars. As Chuck D says, shut them down. I will. Look, Ma, no hands, two dollars. He is lost in the woods. Yes, he is. Nick Volt, two dollars. I am the pilot. Nick? Yes, people were accusing you of being Todd Lyons in Chili's chat. They're dumb. The CIA, five gifts. Love you, Nick. The CIA, five gifted memberships. Thank you, CIA. We put, we're up to 732 channel members. That's fucking amazing. Quick Cicado Kitten, member two months. It's enticement, TS. That's what it is. I don't remember what was enticement, but it must have been enticing. Jerry Ann Marin, $20. He's recording himself breaking the law. What the fuck? And identifying where exactly he's at inside of Los Angeles. He is making this so easy. Chili, you will have a hard truth that you will learn very, very soon. A lot sooner than you thought you would it'd take you to learn this lesson. I'm going to help you out. Okay. All right. I'm going to help you out. Jerry Ann Marin, $20. Oh, yeah. I just read that one. Uh, Mary Ann Journal News, $10. Please do the video where Chili was advising a black barber from South Central LA to act. In, oh, to, uh, yes, I know. Because, you know, Chili was in an all black gang in prison, uh, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. No, uh, yeah, that was a ridiculous video. Telling the barber how he should act when a cop pulls him over. Um, yes, because Chili is the authority on uh, black interaction with the police. Chili's advice could get him killed by the cops. Yeah. A smart, ugly girl. Member three months. Thanks for the gifted memberships. Really appreciate it. I'll be sure and put it in my budget for 2023 so I can give it back. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad somebody gifted you a membership. Aris T, $2. Dude, he was parked right outside of my office. Piece of shit. What? How did your office not get evacuated for fucking <laughs> a biological danger? Uh, Cynthia Merritt, two, $2. Dunning, Dunny Kruger. That is another one. There, but there's another. Coded Friends 101 or something like that. That's the name of the channel. Can somebody, one of the mods, can you grab that? Um... Oh, I don't have the TTU as a perk. We got to fix that. We got to do an official TTU fucking sign for all the members and for, to, for members to use. Uh, good point. Um, let's see. Cynthia Merritt. Yes. Since somebody find code or coded friends uh, channel uh, and, and post it, one of the moderators, because y'all have the permissions to post it. If one of you could find that, that's another channel I've been watching. It's a really good channel. Jeff loves pigs. Two dollars. Some days I think flat earthers are smarter than chili. I'm starting to believe it as well. Not even going to lie. Gaming with both hands. Uh, Five dollars and poor bastard on disability. But shutting him down is worth my second to last five dollars. I just hope his li he's live streaming when he realized he shut down. Uh, again, gaming with both hands. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, of course, the love is always there. Uh, if, if anybody out there is really on their last couple of dollars, don't, don't donate because I'd rather it go to you and, and your, just yourself and whatever you or the people around you might need. Um, thank you very much though. I love you. I really do. That, that really means a lot when I get, when somebody says something like that, but at the same time, I would prefer that to go to you as somebody who lives on a fixed income up until doing YouTube, I was living on a fixed income. I know how to stretch every dollar. Verbo boss, member three months. Serve up that motherfuckers with own cold meal. <laughs> I will. Percy, Texas, tomboy, new member. Mm, I love you. We've got 25 new members tonight. Hell yeah, that's great. Look, Ma, no hands, 10 gifted memberships. Ah, oh, again, you are a, a beast. Thank you so much. I wish they'd start giving you guys messages with those gifted memberships. That's what it should be. It should allow you to leave a message. Mr. Toffees, member seven months. Bollocks, I'm late again. Well, you're just here on just in time. Uh, smooth sounds for $5. Alpha males don't walk around telling everybody they're an alpha male either. They don't, but Chili sure does. Chili likes to tell everybody else they're beta and he's the alpha. Sarah Gar Sarah Cartland, a.k.a. Muttley, who definitely was walking around me with me every day in Europe as we walked up and down the hills of Prague and uh, the uh, monuments in Budapest. Uh, yes, 
Love you, Muttley. Thank you so much. Skeptic, I've missed your hug. I've missed you. Hugs and lots of love. See, we missed you too. Sally Skellington, member two months. TTU, baby. TTU, baby. Uh, Bridge the Divide, member 32 months. God damn it. You and Johnny and everybody else, all of the badasses, the OGs. Yeah, he's aging like a loaf of moist bread. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, shit. It jumped up on me. <laughs> no. All right, let me get to the, um, I know where I stopped. All right there, Donald Trump's Bone Spurs, member 31 months. I got to know who you are uh, with, all, with all the chili faces and the TTU and the horns up, baby. Taco and Yoshi for $2. Congrats on that new, or uh, on new hat. Now you look like an adult. I've been wearing this hat since leaving Dallas. I don't know what you're talking about, baby. The Dark Canuck, two ninety nine. Canada has got your six tonight, but daddy. You know, Canada might be where I run to next. Interpol can't catch me there. Uncle Steve for two for five dollars. I cannot laugh at Chilito anymore. He's a blight on society and should be treated as such. Shut him down, please. Well, you know, I'm only gonna shut him down legally. But god damn it. I have somebody that's extremely motivated behind me right now. <laughs> and we'll talk about that in an appropriate time. Army Frog, new member. Thank you, Army Frog. Love you. Uh, Darth Bane, five dollars for the galaxy far, far. Chili needs a spaceship to find me. T T U. I think you meant from a galaxy far, far away. Chili needs a spaceship to find me. T T U. Darth Bane, love you. Good, uh, goody boy for five dollars. Hey team, I didn't say a whole lot, but back you to one hundred percent. T T U, baby. Hey, fuck that guy. Not the guy that super chatted. Not, not good. Uh, good old boy. Fuck Chili. I'm glad you got my back, but fuck Chili. Uh, Cat, Cat, Cat Janes, $5. The only difference between chili and a bucket of shit is the bucket. I can't say I disagree with you there. <laughs> Ranting Granny B for two Canadian dollars. So many Canadians tonight. We love you up here, TTU, baby. Ah, ah TTU, I love you too. Global Mom, $5 team. Make Chilito, Chilito the whiny, yappy little man out like that female MMA fighter made right the hand tap out twice. I will. Um, yes, I will. Like I said, I got something planned for him. I, I, I got something planned for him coming up. Uncle Steve, new member. Thank you, Uncle Steve. 8-Bit Haunted, $5. Bury that beta. Will do, sir. Or ma'am. Uh, Kentucky Wildcat Girl, $2. Woo! $2. Thank you, baby. Uh, Bob Fox, $2. TTU. Kate always wins. Throw them horns up, baby. Look, Bon, no hands, $2. That blank face for the Velcro straps. Yeah. He ain't gonna get no, they ain't gonna take away handcuffs for Velcro straps anytime soon, guys. Emma A, 26 for TTU, baby. TTU, Emma. Uh, Jerry Ann Marin, $10. Did my shots for the night. Gonna go, gonna sit back and listen. Oh, shit. You did your shots too? Bob Fox, 199. Take him down, fund. Take him, hey, I will take him down, Bob Fox. I'm not even joking about that. Jake, 10 Canadian dollars. Your channel was recommended after watching Schrodinger's Cat. Love your content. I'm definitely a new subscriber. I love you, Jake. Thank you. The cat is always the, the man upstairs. He's, he's watching over us. We take a little shot of some Johnny Walker red. And this one, Jake, is for Schrodinger, who's up there still watching me as I continue my vacation while Chili continues to try to serve me. We'll see you in Chicago, guys. Some good whiskey. <laughs> good whiskey. All right. Jenna B expectations versus reality. Remember, 17 months. Love you, daddy. Team skeptic. TTU, baby. TTU, Jenna. Slay B. Slay 2. Uh, $5. He reminds me of, of uh, Kramer on Seinfeld. Have an idea and try to sell everyone on the idea without a way to produce it effectively and then have it work. Yeah, he was. he's a jackass. Thomas EJ1, member two months. Are the cops supposed to let someone kill another? Um, yeah, that's a, uh, well, you know, they, they have them digitally detained. That's what I think you're missing there, Thomas EJ1, is that the camera catches it on camera, and then they've got them digitally detained, and then that guy is just going to go, you know what? You got me on camera. Here I am. Here I am. See, that's what you're forgetting. But I'm forgetting that that would never fucking happen because that guy's going to fucking dip out. Sarah Carlin, a.k.a. Muttley, 179. 
just donated to PayPal to fight the chili TTU, baby. All right, I'll read the, the rest of the PayPals out here in a minute. Bill Davis, and thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Muttley. Bill Davis for 99 cents. Love you, Bill Davis. Ron Skafskich for $20. Showing my love and support, TTU. Now drink up. Ron Skafskich. We'll drink up in a second. Uh, don't call me fancy. Five Canadian dollars. Two words, Chili. TikTok. They hated you there, too. No. They violated his civil rights to be left alone on TikTok. You're getting it all wrong. Of course, he fucking, they got, they hated him there, too. But he's a hateable individual. All right, I got 10 minutes. I don't have that many super chats left. Okay, 10 minutes. Uh, don't, oh, let's see. Uh, Causeless Rebel, $2. Not all city, uh, city councils have authority over every police department, and that is absolutely true. But if he goes into the city, if they go into the city councils and look like a fool, then they can absolutely just start realizing that's a dumbass idea because dumbass people are pushing it. So I'll be interested in seeing these. I'll be interested in seeing these people who have to put their name on the record to do that. Are they going to dox themselves for Chili? Chevy, you're saying that you'll do it. So are you going to dox yourself uh, for Chili? Is that about to happen? I guess we'll see. Grim, $2. I heard if you blow, blow kisses at a criminal, they stop. Doesn't work. Ace 42B. Remember two months, rock that vacation, brother. Oh, God damn it, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it so hard right now. <laughs> Gina B, expectations versus reality for five Canadian dollars. I've created soft, cozy, crocheted handcuffs. They'll end torture cuffs. I'm, I'm going to be rich. Anyone interested in investing in a 100% successful moneymaker, as, as Chili would call it? <laughs> Keeper, five dollars. You're always a breath of fresh air. Much love, skeptic. I've been having a good time on my vacation. Um, I haven't done a lot of streams for that reason, because if I wasn't having such a good time, I would, you know, I'd be streaming more and doing more work. Uh, but I am having a great time on vacation. Thank you very much, everybody that's even chunked a dollar in over the past six months, because each of those dollars added up and allowed me to go on vacation. A lot of that was because y'all were loving the content that was coming out. A lot of it was because Chili's a fucking jackass and I started covering him. But whatever it was for the reason that you said, hey, skeptic, here's a dollar or, hey, I'm going to watch a bunch of skeptics videos. Uh, thank you very much. And I truly appreciate that. Sam, I am member 23 months. Can't wait for the takedown. Oh, my God. It's going to be great um, because he fucked up, guys. Guys, listen. He fucked up. He fucked up big time. And he doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know why he fucked up, but I do because I have legal counsel. <laughs> Unlike Chili. Chili has a pro per or pro se or however you want to define it in, in, in California. He has that going for him. I have legal counsel going for me. Um, and it pissed him off. <laughs> and he had another female judges. Anybody want to guess how many fucking wins this guy has had with female judges? Uh, he got another one. <laughs> Another female judge. Put a one in the chat if you're happy that Chili got another female judge to be mad at. AZ Jeep Girl, $5. Welcome back. Missed you. Missed you more, AZ Jeep Girl. And as a target of Chili's attack, I think what's going on is fucking bullshit. So um, I believe you're a mod in my channel. Feel free to share your fundraiser as well. Mr. Malort, member 11 months. Hey, clappers. What up, Mr. Malort? Good to see you, my friend. John Pearson, member two months. Uh, what would you do if you had a brain, Chili? Uh, he would actually have a life. Instead of living his life uh, as the dumbest person on the internet, he would actually probably have a family that loves him, maybe a, a wife, a couple little chili does running around, little rugrats. Uh, that would happen, but then, uh, you know what I'm saying? He'd have to have a brain for that. Um, my brain hurts. $5. Camera didn't stop Daryl Brooks, did they? Uh, yeah, Chili. Exactly. How do you stop Daryl Brooks? Uh, the, the next Daryl Brooks. How do you stop him? Digital detainment? You think that guy's going to be like, oh, shit, they got me on camera. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. What about sovereign citizens that don't believe in that shit? What then? You're leaving out a lot is what we're trying to tell you, Chili, without telling you is that you're leaving out a lot. A lot of pertinent information that really needs to be addressed for your idea to work. Let's see, Jeff loves pigs for two dollars. 
Sad when you li- when you're in the states. I love my 4:30 a.m. wake up. Oh, Jeff loves pigs. I know, right? Uh, I they're, they're not over. We're gonna st- we're gonna continue to do those uh, when I get back home uh, sometime after the 21st, I believe, is when I'll be back home. CC Trample five dollars. Well, these peace officer cameras have bulletproof force fields and bad guy tasers. Then okay, get rid of torture cuffs. Uh, no, they're not planning on having any of that. Uh, Grandmaster level, 10 Canadian dollars. Am I getting sued by Chili for being here? I can't handle the stress. I'm, I'm going to get four VPNs and I'm going to donate with a pay as you go credit card. Will I be safe then? No. Chili will uh, subpoena YouTube to get your information that you never gave in the first place. Uh, Gish Gooey, 999, towards having an angry balls with Irish demon or now called an angry chill. LOL. <laughs> Better show doing it. Um... Okay, uh, an I- angry balls with Irish. Okay, well, I'm in. Hey, I'll be coming, getting back out, Gish Gooey, um, back out of the country in, uh, like March, late, late February, early March. Chili says I'll never be able to leave the country again because this is going to cost me tens of millions of dollars. Um, no, Chili, it's not. It's really not. It's going to cost you one more filing. That's all it's going to cost you. Justin B, uh, member. Four months. How you doing, TTU, baby? (laughs) TTU, Justin. Uh, I'm doing absolutely fucking fantastic. Rennie, baby, we got two more, and then we're kicking over to Kate. Um, And she starts in five minutes. And uh, also, we have Blue Bear that's also streaming if you want to go catch that. And if you don't catch either one of those now, catch the other one later. Whoever you go to to watch, go watch the other one later because they're both deserving of your eyeballs right now. Rennie, baby, new member. Woo! TTU baby, uh, Neified, ne- Neified, two two pounds. TTU petty super chat. Ooh, the petty super chats are my favorite ones, though. To be honest with you, uh, Chili Rage plus plus. Jenna B expectation versus reality. Ten Canadian dollars. Chili's van was not stolen. I know. Um, if it was stolen, the vehicle wasn't worth what he borrowed. Insurance wouldn't be giving him thirty thousand dollars. They would have to give it away to the loan company. Yeah, but that guy's a perennial liar. So you're probably absolutely right about that. Um, but at the same time, he's a perennial liar. So we all knew it from the beginning. That he's lying. No matter what he says, the explanation he gives is going to be the one that's fucking the most wrong. Um, Blue Skeptic Demon, 499. Kate has the Mafia Demon, has the army. Can we be the skeptic mercenaries? What are we? Are we a group of, of mercenaries? Do we take money to fight for the person who has the most money? Yes, we do. No, I don't know. What do y'all want to be called? Trench. The Trench Mafia. That's what we are. <laughs> Gish Gooey, one ninety nine, four ninety nine. If you don't show, uh, if you don't know it's a bottle of Angry Orchard and a Fireball Shot, I would take that, actually. All right, guys. Irish Demon is going to be on in 30 minutes as well. Ooh, he's going to be competing with Queen Caitlin. Uh, That's something I wouldn't want to be doing, but okay. Um, cause she is the queen lies <clears throat> guys. We're going to have a shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to take one more shot for the evening. Uh, this shot goes out to all you. Oh, let me check the, the PayPal to see if any other PayPal's came in the militia. Ooh, I like that. I like that. The defense for at home. All right, let's see. SG sent you $20. Thank you very much. SG. I appreciate it. Let's see. Am I missed any? Okay, I don't think I've missed any. Okay. Thank you, everybody that ch- chipped in. Like I said, I will, uh, I'll take an accurate accounting of all this and I will, um, I'll keep you guys updated on what I've raised and what I've spent. Uh, I'm not asking for any more than it's going to cost to just shut him the fuck down. And I will know that cost well ahead of time. So I want to tell you guys I love y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you if you super chatted. Um, even if you didn't, if you just stuck around and fucking watched the whole night, look at that new member, Catalina Varin. Ooh, baby. TTU, baby. Welcome to the squad. All right. Honestly, though, I'm very fortunate to have all of you guys on my team. I love you guys. Uh, and, uh, let me, the hunters. Ooh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll come up with a name. Uh, love you too, Telecline. Love you too, baby. Um, everybody go watch your video of choice, whether it be Blue Bear or Kate. Uh, you go watch your video of choice. Let me give a uh let me share Kate's link in here. I think somebody Blue Bear's in the chat, I believe. 
if Blue Bear will share his own link or if somebody else will share his link for him. Let me get um let me get the link for Kate Stream. Okay. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, whoop. That's not gonna work. All right. There we go right there. There's Kate's stream right there. If somebody will share Blue's, Blue Bear's stream, let me go ahead and grab that, in fact. And I love you guys, man. This was a great show. Oh, whoops. I see it right there. Hold on. And here is Blue Bear's stream in case you want to go get the, uh, see the police perspective on police. Uh, what up, Nikki Red? Good to see you. The one and only Miss L. Good to see you. N-A-N-A. -N -A. Good to see you, brother. Um, Barbie gal, member for four months. TS frauditor killer cadre. Ooh, oh shit, Kate. Oh my God, Catalina Varen gifted twenty memberships. Thank you. Twenty people out there are going to be gifted a membership thanks to Catalina Varen. And uh, if you get gifted a membership, it'd be nice if you just dropped her a little "I love you" and thank you very much. Um, man, Catalina, that was so sweet of you. Thank you. You fucking rock. Fuck Chili. That's right. Fuck Chili. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to end it tonight. Uh, I think I, yeah, I shared both Blue Bears and uh, Kate's stream. You go watch the stream you want to watch, but stop watching this one because guess what? I'm Team so well, Let me get this. We're going to do this right here. Got to be on camera. I'm Team Skeptic. And I'm out.